Okay. 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 How you guys doing? This is Daniel Rucker with True Table. Um, I want to tap in here today just to get cooking, just to get started. You know, we just gonna, we just gonna go right on in. There has been swirling reports about high value men cheating, why they cheat, um, how they, how they cheat, why it's not cool, why women are been out of shape about it. And everyone from Kevin Samuels to Fresh and Fit to um, a few comment, you know, content creators, MTR, has discussed this. Now, the reason why I think it's hard and none of them are saying, you know, Kevin hasn't said it, Myron and Fresh haven't said it, I'm going to say it. I'm going to tell you why, ladies, why high value men will more than likely cheat, why they cheat, and why it's okay that they cheat. What it boils down to simply, it's not an overly complicated thing. I don't know how long I'm going to broadcast today. I've been shooting for like five minutes or so, but I'm going to just let it flow today because I feel like this really needs to be discussed because it still seems to be a disconnect. High value men cheat women, ladies, because at the end of the day, the conclusion is, you are a component of the man. You are not the focus. You are not his the center of his world. You are not the priority. And you never will be. Not if you're dealing with a high value man. Now, the reason why this bothers a lot of women is because they don't understand the intellect and the mindset and the outlook of a high value man. The mindset of a high value man is disciplined, structured, stoic, centered, focused, and they don't compromise. Now, that word right there, compromise, is one that I've heard a lot of women throw around all the time, to the point to where men even echo it because they hear it from women. You know, the whole BS, oh, if you want to have a successful relationship, you have to compromise. High value men don't compromise. Matter of fact, the word compromise is actually an allergic word to a high value man. They don't understand what that means. They don't subscribe to that at all. You're not, as a woman, going to go into the world of a high value man and have him change his standard. So, ladies, because it still seems to be an issue. And why do I think this? Why do I think that it's still an issue or what seems to be a disconnect? Well, I was listening to Fresh and Fit just last night. I follow them quite regularly. I listen to their content quite regularly. And at nighttime, they always have a panel of girls. You guys go ahead and check them out. Um, good content over there. But anyway, at nighttime, they always have a panel of girls to discuss all things that are RP, uh, the male perspective, and what's going on in the manosphere. And this particular panel was so confused on every time Myron and Fresh were saying high value men don't, you know, high value men can cheat. And these are the reasons why. And all of the ladies, I mean, all of them were like, well, it's about loyalty and maybe he hasn't found a woman that he's head over heels in love with yet. Or I'm not going to tolerate that or like all this crap. (laughs) And I'm sitting here cracking up because I'm like, they still think that it's about them. See, they still think that you're the prize in a, in, in the equation that is a high value man, ladies, you are not the prize. Matter of fact, in the mind of a high value man, you are a necessity to extend upon his legacy. I'm going to say that again, just for those who didn't get it the first time, (laughs) you are accessory to extend upon his legacy. To extend upon his legacy. What does that mean? That means that if the high value man was the front, well, okay, if the high value man was the mansion, you're the furniture. If the high value man was a Ferrari, you're the tires. 
in the world of a high value man, ladies, and I keep saying high value so that I'm emphasizing and reiterating the difference. See, I think that people still get stuck on the fact that they're trying to relate high value to just money, to just status. No, a high value man is is, is as close to a superior man or like, you know how we got superheroes, you know, Batman, Superman, you know, all those people with those special abilities, right? A high value man is that in real life. He doesn't have superpowers. He can't walk on water. He can't, you know, dodge a speeding bullet. He can't stop a freight train. But what he has done is he has developed himself in such a way that puts him on the landscape of men above most men from what he's accomplished. And that needs to be understood. And I think that it's, 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 it's scary to me because the words I'm using, the words Myron uses, the words Kevin uses are simple, very simple. English, for those who speak English, high value men, high value men, sorry, will exercise their options. Now, what does that mean? When you arrive at the status that is high value, options mean life of options. Options mean everything that comes with what you have worked to get. And a part of that is money. A part of that is access. A part of that is respect. A part of that is network. A part of that is travel, um, business deals, certain types of relationships and oh the kicker women just like drake said i want the money money in the cars cars in the clothes the hoes <laughs> i suppose yo that in that simple just what is what do you call that part of a song what do you call that part of a song and just that simple um hook he explained to you what high value men men do in experience that's it now this notion that a high value man is going to like kevin said like myron said is going to spend his time and dedicate his effort and dedicate his skill set and his discipline towards arriving at a place in life that most people will never arrive at And I think that needs to be understood. Getting to high value is so rare. It's like being a superhero. It's like, and the difference is not like in the movies, obviously, in the comic books where you're born with this innate ability. No, you tap into this instinct. You tap into this, this awakening of sorts, this awareness. When you become a high value man, the world changes for you. The access is different for you. The things you experience are different for you. The type of connections that you have, most people will never have. Most people can't buy them themselves and buy their way into this arrived place because what it is, is a cultivation of years of developing self to be able to be valuable to not just yourself, but others on a, on a grand scale, the byproduct of that is women. Now, I think why women are struggling with this is because they want to subscribe to the fact that it, a man like that shouldn't feel it necessary to experience the spoils of all of his work, all of his effort, all of his discipline, all of his practice, all of his concentration. See, they want to subscribe to thinking how they think from the place that a man should think like a woman. I'm sorry, ladies. I'm here to tell you, no. Anytime a high value man is present in the equation, you are always going to be on his program. 
you are always going to have your limitations. I'll say that. And why is that? Because he does not need you. He does not need to flow through you any topics, uh, permission. He essentially does not have to need you to agree in order for him to experience life the way he wants it to to move and flow. I hope I'm making sense. I really was moved to talk about this because I it, it still seems to be something I, and I don't mind reiterating. I'm probably going to have to reiterate and that's fine. That's what I'm here for. That's what the channel is for. You know, for perspective, for perspective and progress. Because the goal is to really get people to understand certain things in life and certain uh, you know equations and how this works. But with high value men specifically, and that's the reason why I like Kevin, because Kevin's always like, you don't even know what this these men look like. You don't know how they are. You don't know where they kick it. You don't know how they think. It's clear. It's apparent. Because you have so many women being mad and upset at the fact that he is the one person, Kevin, said high value men exercise options. They don't cheat. Well, that's essentially what it means. And as I was uh, watching... Um, Fresh Bay last night and Myron was again explaining and reiterating, look, this is what it is. If I'm a high value man and I meet a woman and I feel I want to be a part of my life, my program, what's going to happen is that I'm going to present to her what she can expect being with me. And the series of that is going to be, you won't, maybe, you won't have to work. I'm going to need you to cook for me or clean for me or whatever that specific man needs from you and in turn this is what you get but he's gonna tell you what to expect so if he's somebody that smokes cigars he may say hey i smoke i drink on occasion i travel out the country once a month um so on and so forth so on and so forth this will happen this conversation will take place and i think that because so many women have not talked to or dealt with men let alone high value men, they don't understand how the mindset processes. See, high value men are not asking your permission on something. They're giving you a, an option, but it's always gonna benefit him before it benefits you. And that's the difference. A man that is not of high value is gonna care how you feel. A man that is not of high value you know, it's going to place precedence on your outlook or your perspective. And because that is more of a trait of a man that has not arrived to this level and this awareness of self and understanding how valuable he truly is, he's going to look at you, the woman, as a necess necessity to please you more than himself that's not high value men ladies high value men do not need women they may want women they may find it necessary to have a wife because the wife is going to now help him to accomplish his legacy his vision if he had a vision which he if, he, if he's high value he has a vision okay i'm gonna do this i'm gonna get here i'm gonna grow this I'm going to build this. I've arrived. Okay, now I want kids. How do I have kids? I need a woman to have kids. Well, what's the best case scenario to do that? Well, give me a wife. And then she's going to have my babies. However many I want. Bang, 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 bang. His process has nothing to do with what it is that you want. His process has nothing to do with how you feel. His process is solely to get out of the world in his life what he wants period and in that process sometimes that means just this simple and I'm going to try to set it up for you ladies so you can understand if I'm a high value man I have a wife but I'm horny mind you 
I've already made her aware of the life she can expect to experience. So let's just call her Vanessa for this example. Okay, so Vanessa, I'm going to take care of you. Our kids will never want for anything. Uh, you can shop, this, that, whatever the deal may be. And in turn, I need you not to drive me crazy. Don't embarrass me in these streets. Uh, make sure I have a hot meal when I get home from a trip or a day or, you know, whatever. Handle some of these uh, bills and invoices that I'll, you know, send you. Whatever his, whatever it is, whatever he needs from you. This is what you can expect. I'm going to, from time to time, take vacations without you. I'm going to hang out with my friends. Uh, I'm going to have relations with other women. And with all those things, you'll never be mistreated or taken advantage of in a way that is going to bring disruption to our program, our situation. You'll never have to worry about struggling. No outside kids, no diseases, whichever, however. This is the trade. This is what you get being in this program, being a part on my team. Being on my team, Vanessa, this is what you get. You do not get to drive this ship. Dick drives this ship. Like, it's this is my life that I'm choosing to share with you. And... I think the reason why it's so tough is because most women are so used to observing men through the lens that is he's coming to me to give me an a, a, a equal voting right, <laughs> like an equal voting position. No, not with a high value man. With a high value man, you're the sun, he's the planet. Nope. No. Nope. He's the sun, you're the planet. You rotate around him, not the other way around. And the notion that most women can't understand or digest this is why it's such a hard thing to understand. You know, I've heard them say, well, if you don't want that outcome, go deal with a less valuable man. Go deal with a regular guy, right? They don't want that. They, they, they all like, well, why do I have to settle? It's not about settling. See, what it really boils down to, ladies, is it's what kind of life do you want to have? You can choose the life you want and the man you want to end up with. But if you want the type of man that is going to be obedient, care how you feel, place your feelings and your priorities and your dreams and things above his own, sacrifice for you over himself and place you as number one in his life, you don't want to be with a high value man. High value men will never give you that position. High value men will always make sure that what he set out to do and the, the, the vision of his life, the value of his life, the fact that his life impacts more than just you, that's always going to be bigger than how you feel. So I just want to touch on that today. I hope, I really hope I gave some continuity to this particular topic and I know with this one conversation it's definitely not going to change but I hope it opens up more discussion I hope it brings more to the overall uh, conversation because I can tell that this seems to be a very elusive thing for women that they're just like but no you know I'm not going to tolerate <laughs> we'll deal with a regular guy but guess what newsflash Infidelity is not guaranteed whether or not he's high value or not. You, you don't control a man, period. Less likely he will be someone who'll be faithful, mainly because he doesn't have the options to be, you know, overly promiscuous or he's not overly desirable to most women. 
And that's the reason why his faithfulness will be, you, you have a better chance of him being faithful. Not because he wouldn't cheat on you because he just doesn't want to. But just like the great Chris Rock said, men are just as faithful as the options that they have. And most men that are not high value don't have options like that. So they don't cheat because there's no options to cheat. So their, their, their commitment to you is not predicated on the fact that you're just so special. <laughs> their commitment to you is predicated on the fact that they don't have any options. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and like the video. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me. I know I went a little long today, but I felt it necessary. Um, we're going to continue to dive on these things. Uh, this is Daniel Rucker with True Table signing out. Have a good day.